Good morning, everybody. Johnny B. Goodyear. Oh, my back is killing me. All right, today is um, Tuesday, February 20th, 2000. Uh, 18 local time is I have no idea okay yesterday things did not go too well anyway baby blue got all brand new tires I think the recaps though what the heck is this looks like staples staples that's are embedded in the rubber when they made the rubber <laughs> that's weird as you can see we got all brand new eight all the way around unfortunately uh, when I took baby blue in the shop yesterday from about eight o'clock I didn't get out of there till about 9 p.m. You know why? It turns out Baby Blue had a broken wheel seal. They had to take this out, change the wheel seal, they changed the brake drum, they changed the brakes. This side was good on both sides on this axles uh, they change both wheel seals brakes brake drums and they also change the uh, differential oil As you can see, Baby Blue got brand spanky new uh, brakes. New brake drum. That one's been changed. It turns out it had water inside the differential. The oil was mixed with water. So, that's why it took forever. It took forever them to finish the work, but you know what? It's all good. Rather have them do it in one shot, regardless of how long it took to do it, as long as they do it right, right? And I guess some of you has been asking about what happened to this. Remember a couple weeks ago I made a really sharp U-turn at the uh, pilot truck stop in Gary, Indiana? See, what happened was I guess these are designed that when you, uh, when you pull in too much this will actually come off. What happened last time is it came off halfway and I was afraid that the wind was gonna just flap it off. So I peeled it off and I put it inside the bunk. Yeah, this one here just kind of clamps in there. It's a rubber kind of thing. And I don't know if you guys are I get this question a lot what these are these are backup lights they're supposed to turn on when I put the utility lights on but uh, these are I think these are burned out now this is the APU 
Yeah, which I hate. It's a pain in the butt. Alright, normal APU. See this? This is somewhat of a its own radiator. Miss Blue did not have her own reservoir. She did not have her own radiator. Well, she did, yeah. She did have her own radiator, but her coolant was tied to the coolant of the truck so that when this engine runs the coolant circulates from the main engines come back here cools the engine uh, gets the gets the hot out of the engine making the coolant warm bring that warm coolant to the main engine circulate around thus making the main engine a little hotter that way in the winter time the main engine will always start because of the uh, because of if you were to run this in the winter time when when you're parked this should be running and when this runs the coolant is hot runs through back and forth keeping the main engine warm because when you're parked you're not supposed to run the main engine that's why you have this to save fuel but in this case I don't know why in this case this the coolant itself is not tied to the truck it just stays to where it is so that feature with Miss Blue is not compared is not the same as this although they can just easily take the hose radiator hose connect it to the truck but I think my boss did it this way because his reason was if the truck coolant leaked out then at least you still have this but I, I don't I don't see it that way if your coolant in the truck leaked out what good is this if you you know your truck is still gonna be in the shop so so for this uh, particular uh, unit the sole purpose of this unit right here this one is to supply battery power to the truck think of this as a generator well this engine is got two functions the alternator will supply electricity keeping the battery charged and also this is for that mainly the biggest reason for this is the air conditioner part when you're parked your engine is off and it's in the summertime you're supposed to run this and this will run that and this will cool the inside of the truck in the summertime this will consume, I don't know, maybe a half a gallon of fuel or less, a quarter. It's, it's significantly lower uh, fuel consumption than the main engine. So again, the main purpose is to charge the battery of the truck. And the, the basically think of this as an air conditioning that's what it is it, it, it's an air conditioner machine that supplies air condition to the truck and at the same time trickle charges the uh, the battery and I think that's what they call the condenser or something I don't know the contraption I call it <laughs> so and they're great they're great machine I think they are very economical, they're very fuel efficient, but 
when they break down oh boy they break down and they don't last that long they're always always being maintained it's you know you're constantly taking them to the shop there's always something goes wrong with them and brand new I think they're about fourteen thousand dollars right now installed out the door I, I just don't see it why not just get yourself a small generator for you know eight hundred bucks twelve hundred dollars you know those diesel generators they last forever and just have yourself an air conditioning in the truck you don't need to carry all this junk plus all the this right here this is not it there's about there's about a hundred pounds of accessory that goes underneath the bunk to make this work oh one more fact this this will not heat the truck this has got this does not have a heater the one that heats the truck when you're sleeping is that SPAR heater the, the bunk heater which is a totally completely different machine and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm sure somebody will point you uh, to what I'm talking about and they also greased the fifth wheel well I better get going you know what why don't you guys come along with me nice too noisy for my taste though oh also the uh, original delivery for this load is tonight at 10 p.m. but since I didn't get loaded till like really late last night and I was so tired I barely made it here to pick up this load so I'm gonna have them schedule this load for Thursday at about 2 a.m. delivery all right I better get going here uh, you guys want to come along just uh, stay tuned. Peace.